Hi guys, welcome to Flying Grip Academy. Today we are going to discuss command line arguments in Java. Here, if you want to pass command line arguments during the runtime, you are going to pass command line arguments. Here, what you are going to declare in the first step is class with a class name. Class name is C arguments. So in this class, we are going to define public static void main string array arguments. Already we have discussed what is public, what is static, what is void, what is main, what is string array arguments. Public defines everywhere you can access static links, non-static members and methods of different classes and void defines no return type and main defines it is a entry point of every program, it is a function. Now here we have given string array arguments. Here string array arguments, it means it is going to accept command line arguments. So next we have declared an integer, it is a data type, we have declared a variable i. So now we are using an if condition, if condition is used to validate whether a particular condition is true or false. Here within the main we have declared args which is an string array type. So if arguments dot length is equals to zero, main function is going to accept command line arguments. If arguments which are passed through command is zero, so then it is going to show a message system dot out dot println error invalid number of arguments are passed. It means no arguments are passed. You have just run the program and it is going to exit from the system by using system.exit0. If you want to make a repetitive things, so within the loop, we are using a for loop. In for loop, we are going to declare i equal to 0. So already we have declared int i equal to 0 here. So now i is going to track. So i is 0 initially. So i is less than arguments.length. So how many number i is going to maintain the size of array. So based upon that particular size, it is going to increment the i. So now i will be tracing the index of an array. Here i less than arguments.length. It means you are going to check how many number of command line arguments are passed by the condition for contains three particular things. So first one is initialization, next one is condition, next one is increment or decrement. System dot out dot println, the arguments of index, it is going to show whatever the items are inside the array which you have passed in a command line argument. So now I am going to save the program, save as all files. So here we are going to save with the C arguments dot Java. So now I am going to open the command prompt and I am going to switch to the folder where I have saved. CD stands for change directory, CD space Java programs. So now we need to compile the program by typing Java C space class name dot Java. I have copied class name dot Java. So now it has executed the program and it is going to show one error. So now it has entered the for loop and we have not entered the main function. I have saved the program and recompile the program and the program has been compiled and now I need to execute the program java space c arguments. So now it is going to show an error because we have not passed command line arguments during the runtime. So now I am going to pass the command line arguments hello flying grip academy. So now how many number of arguments are there it is going to show index i is going to trace the index 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. The based upon size of an array. So next if you are going to pass some other arguments. So here space acts as a separator as many number of arguments we are passing it is going to print those number of arguments. The second way of using command line arguments let us see in an another program. So in this program what we are going to do is we are going to use simple command line program here we are going to use enhanced for loop. Here we are going to declare an array data type. Data type is string. String is a data type which is going to trace the array. And the arguments is an array which you are going to loop through. It means it is going to accept command line arguments for string. So now 
it is going to print as many number of arguments you are going to pass through an command line. So now I am going to save the program file, save as, save it as an all files and now paste the program dot java, file name dot java. So on compilation, it is going to generate a class file. Now this particular program has executed without any error and you need to compile the program and run the program. You have already compiled the program. Once the compilation has been done successfully, it is going to generate a class file. Now you need to pass the command line arguments. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you press the enter and now the command line arguments which are stored under the string array will be shown here. We will see another program how it is going to take command line arguments from your system. Here we are having a another program which we have. So now here any command line argument like string array. So now here it is going to get the value from system.get property and it is going to print. So now I am going to save the program advanced command line program copy and now file save as save as followed by file name dot java. So now save it under all files. Now I have saved the program successfully. So compile the program java c space advanced command line program dot java. It has compiled the program successfully. So now we are going to execute the program java space file name. So now here it has generated the username. So the username it is going to show is electrobot. So because in previous we have not entered the username followed by dot because of that reason it has generated an error. So in this manner we can able to use a command line arguments. So this is all about command line arguments tutorial. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.